Welcome to Political Sin. So this video, I want to talk a little bit about the handling of COVID and how um, scientists, doctors, how they're becoming more and more partisan. And they really show themselves this year because you have these doctors out there that's talking about hydroxychloroquine. Okay, I know I said that word, but if you think about it earlier in the year, why is that political? Why does any scientist or anyone in science have an agenda? Well, to be realistic, you know, everyone has an agenda, right? There's they want to push for green energy. They want to push for something, right? I, I get that. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't be like that. It should be, hey, this is the study. This is the outcome of the study. Um, this is something that should be replicated, right? A good science is something that is replicatable. So out of everything with Fauci being mass, no mass, like I really dislike the way he really uh, handled it because if, if, if the mass are not helping you, just say at the beginning the science wasn't clear, that it wasn't helping you, but for sure it helped um, people in the hospitals because they work directly with the sick people. They're in an environment. They're not like outside. Apparently, if you're outside COVID and whatever sickness that you have, it, it's less likely to transmit when it's hot and humid or whatever outside. I, I don't know exactly the, the, the science behind that, but that's the thing. If it's not clear, just tell us. Um, and then when it comes to anything Trump re related, you have people out there screaming at this guy for be for pushing science that 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 some other experts say that this is possibly something that you can use uh, and it could possibly help. So if most of the people or majority of the scientists or whoever the doctors say it, it probably won't help. That's fine, but if you have these other experts that are kind of counter to it, that are saying eh, it kind of can. This study shows, like early on, if you take hydroxychloroquine with zinc and whatever, that it could help you. So, my whole frustration of the whole year is just basically that. It's basically when it becomes political, doctors shouldn't have to like censor themselves they should just tell you what the facts are there are some people that think this and there most of the people actually think this there isn't any really really studies that come that's coming out that's really verifiably telling us that this is what it is that should be it but we live in an age now where like science is being there, there's like a coup so they literally came in and they've made science only something that 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 is that is partisan that is political when it, it just shouldn't be this whole video is just that man they're just voicing frustration i'm sure other people are kind of frustrated over this too because it's just it's not just the COVID thing it's just the doctors and the scientists standing for let's say joe biden or just putting hate on trump when in reality um we should they should just stick to science it's like if this is what you do then tell us that is what's happening uh, if there's other scientists telling you vice versa we should be able to listen to that as well <laughs> i think that's all i want to say i really despise this handling of of COVID, of of scientists and doctors coming out and, and censoring each other and saying this is absolutely, uh, undeniably, it does not work. That is frustrating. It doesn't actually help people. If you're actually trying to help people, um, the thing with the women's march, the thing with like Fauci not saying, hey, these events are super spreaders. You know, if there's any large crowds, you this is a super spreader event. If there's thousands of people, hundreds or thousands of people stuck together and some of them are not wearing masks, they're, they're, it's a super spreader. 
when the LA Lakers when they won the the championship this year, all these people went out and celebrated in the streets, and you had hundreds and thousands of people. That's a super spreader event. So all these political kind of events, all these things that that are should be scientifically true. You should be able to say it no matter who it hurts politically. And that's what opened my eyes to all these things. Um, it, it just really shows you, hey, I know that you're going to get attacked from either side because you're always going to piss off someone. Scientists are always going to piss off someone because on either side of the aisle they're cheering for one side they're cheering for a certain outcome of the science but as a true legitimate scientist and a person that truly wants to help people you should tell people what you absolutely think uh the results are of the science if you have a survey or whatever that you're doing with the study you should present what they did and everything that's in the study, and you should give your honest opinion, your honest narrative over the study. Because what I've learned more and more now, when I research things, I, I've been like just, I've seen like uh, I was going after kind of like the the princess boys. There's like this group of uh, this girl uh, that's dressing up little boys as princesses, and I really looked into the science. And the science, it's not everything is truly clear, but what was clear through that science study, all those science studies that it's bad for little girls because uh, when it's bad uh, for little girls, because as you grow up, you know, you're learning uh, tropes, you're learning how to behave through Disney and that type of thing. So you are just um, redoing, re, re, uh, uh, not calibrating, but you're basically teaching yourself whether you're a little boy or a little girl and telling uh, this little child that this is reinforcing a certain behavior in a certain way of thinking. And uh, that, 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 that was pretty much the science, the way I saw it and interpret it. And that's what kind of what they were saying in the study. Now, all these studies, it's very, it can be very difficult because it's never one plus one equals two. It's, uh, this is leaning this way. This is leaning that. That's what I kind of figured with a lot of these studies. Um, when it comes with anything, when it comes to like Green New Deal, the fracking, when it comes to anything controversial, it's controversial because it leans a certain way. Um, it may be interpreted a little bit differently. And the, this year, what the the riots, um, cops uh, just killing un unarmed black people. It, it just the numbers doesn't add up by itself um and there's all these interactions throughout the year and it just this is not like a widespread thing that cops are out there killing unarmed black people and black men it just wasn't happening and so i know that's very controversial but just going by the numbers it doesn't add up to me and to many other people and other people might disagree with that and that that's that's fine but the thing is with an argument like that everyone should be able to present we're able actually to re present our information the stats to kind of support whatever position and we're able to build a narrative over that but the thing with the science of this year especially with covid there's only one narrative the narrative is hydroxychloroquine does not work at all and if you say it does we'll censor you and that's go that goes into a whole other thing that everything is all kind of connected to each other but at the end of the day at the end of the day science should just be science and it should be the number one goal is to inform the people if you are misguiding the people if you're not doing and telling informing the people behind legitimate science and telling us what's really happening um you are we're we're gonna be let let astray we're gonna be believing into narratives that should never be been uh believed in the first place and that's why history that's why education is so important because we the people all are always we always have to rely on the people with more power or the people 
in these positions that have this power to sway the people and sway how we think and incite certain feelings and incite certain information and makes us believe in certain lies over certain truths. And that is why we need to protect science. That's why we need to protect um, this thing that shouldn't be political. Science shouldn't be political. That's the end of the video. That's the point I want to get across us. Uh, get across science is not political it is only meant to inform and it should hurt whoever it hurts politically it just hurts politically because if we don't if we can't trust the science we can't trust anything at all i'll leave it at that appreciate you guys watching like comment share the video and i'll see you guys on the next one